say that the drip community is excited about the upcoming launch of its lottery drip drop draw is an understatement if you go on the telegram group right now you'd see once more price predictions that are a bit outlandish you'd see the community being over jealous and over happy with the fact uh, that this protocol is coming out and it's going to propel drip from where it's at so on and so forth but unfortunately again and again behind all this fluff there is reality and reality is not as pretty what i'm going to do today is go i'm going to argument as in my personal opinion of course why this lottery system that is coming out is not going to do too much in the short term and is definitely going to be harmful in the long term First of all, before we start all of this, if you haven't checked out the so-called white paper that they have released, which is in fact a couple of drawings on a PDF, please do so to understand how this lottery functions, all right? Because the things I'm gonna talk about today, they include some of the functionality of this lottery system. And to start things off, in order to participate in Drip Drop Draw, which which by the way is gonna have I think a total of six draws per day it's every four hours just FYI you can do so using drip BUSD and BNB now the catch here is that if you do use drip nothing is gonna happen right because you have your drip you're gonna put it in and you're gonna hope to get more but if you go in with BUSD and BNB to incentivize people buying in with those tokens with those assets apologies those coins they give you 20% extra tickets, meaning you have more chances to win the lottery, all right, after four hours. And they're doing that because they want people to enter with BUSD and BNB, which will buy and drip because evidently all of this is going to go to the faucet. But I'm running a bit ahead of myself. So this, some, this is something that you need to understand. And the drip entries can be done through deposits or they can be done through sacrifices. And by that, I mean that drip is going to be burnt now this is all cool all right so you enter with one of these assets and you hope to get more at the end of the day through the faucet like i said now here is what where it gets tricky and unfortunately this is one of the harmful things that i spoke about in the intro now because all of this drip is going to end up in the faucet what will happen eventually is that the faucet obligations will skyrocket through the roof all right Evidently, 99% of everything that has been participated during one round is going to end up in the faucet. 1% apparently is going to go to marketing. And here's how it goes. So if you enter yourself, automatically 75% of what you entered with is going to end up in your faucet. So that alone is something. So the 24% left is going to get pulled up and distributed across winners, runner-ups, etc. So if you pull them up together, that's 99% in the faucet every single day. And if you just take in max wallets, so if just two max wallets have been uh, given every single day times 3.65x, because remember, those drip in, in the faucet are going to balloon by 3.65 times at the end of the year, of course. That approximately would be about 182k drip per day that will be given out eventually so just propel this over a couple of weeks we're talking millions added to faucet obligations and that number will exponentially grow because it's stacking up on top of the drip that is already there with compound interest so on and so forth so yes you could argue that this drip ending on with the faucet will increase the tax vault but then again, you'd have to pay out more eventually. So at some point, that will outpace the tax vault as we've seen time and time again. All right. So here's the trick. Because people are counting on members entering drip drop draw with fresh capital because it gives you 20% and then that drip will be bought and then the price will increase so that's the whole gimmick behind price appreciation so the hope is people are going to enter with bnb or busd to pump up the bags increase the price so people will have more to sell all right that, that that's it that's basically it because if people enter in drip 
nothing is gonna happen to the price. Surely inflation will subsidize a bit for a short period of time because the tax vault is getting uh, filled up, but that's it. All right, in terms of price appreciation, unfortunately, it's barely gonna make a dent. So who are actually the people who will participate in this? If you, if you sit down right now and think about this, the Telegram group, so basically the Drip community, they are the ones who are going to do so. And why would I, as part of the Drip community, who have been in Drip for a while, most probably accumulated a lot of Drip, and have the chance to buy it now uh, at a so-called cheap price between quotation marks, why would I wait and just enter Drip Drop Draw with BNB and BUSD? And the fact of the matter is, 20.5 million Drip liquid tokens are sitting in wallets and what where will these go if they're sold that's four million and sell pressure the price will diminish to dust if they're not sold meaning they're gonna be entering drip drop draw and that's the logical conclusion here on top of more drip that will be entering so on and so forth so if you think about it the entrance to drip drop draw has a lack of fresh capital, a real lack of fresh capital, almost non-existent in my opinion, of course, based on what we're saying. Because if people want to participate in this, they've had the long opportunity to do so because this has been delayed time and time again. So to prepare themselves, they could have already bought Drip and they're sitting tight to enter uh, Drip Drop Draw once it's out. So essentially, this is where the lack of capital of fresh capital comes from people are prepared they have their drip there's like 20.5 million and growing uh drip liquid tokens and wallets and evidently this should be enough so this should be enough to tell you that the situation is not as fluffy and as pink as you might think but i want to add a few more extra thoughts here now remember this is a lottery and in crypto there are so many of them and one of the major drivers behind these is hype all right and as you've probably seen the law of diminishing returns that is driven by hype will also diminish by hype and as time goes on so for example when this hits the first couple of days i'm sure there are going to be a lot of participation all right maybe for a week maybe two weeks who knows but as time goes on and the faucets are growing more drip is being minted and that adds up sell pressure that will diminish the hype and this will end up being a mute protocol because the aftermath of all of this if price doesn't increase to a dollar two dollars ten dollars so on and so forth this is going to bring huge disappointment to the community and the realization that this was never meant to do so and i'm sure they will they will somehow uh, change the narrative and say we never you know spoke about price appreciation so on and so forth so i'm sure this was going to happen at some point but this is what's going to happen once the lack of hype sets in once the disappointment sets in and then the usage will decrease substantially and let's not forget that so many other protocols have tried this and failed and to name a few, I mean, of course, it's not the same type of structure, but somehow similar. So to name a few, there was a project called Titano. And this was one of, I think this was the leading ones in these uh, high APY type of, types of projects. And if you look at their lottery system here, if you just look at it from a, you know, from an outside perspective, you can see that it has some of the prints of DDD plus the goal here was to keep people in, to give, to give them more to what they entered, and then to migrate some of these tokens to a treasury, to burn some of them, so on and so forth. So the basic concept of having a lottery to try and boost buy pressure in order to boost the price and try to uh, burn some of the tokens is there. And that's the point of all of these lottery systems that are built on top of pre-existing tokens. But that's the, what they want at the end of the day. They're trying to build something to salvage the price of the asset that is constantly diminishing over time. And that's unfortunately, that's something that didn't save this uh, token, which plummeted to dust as well. Now, 
I'm not some kind of guy who's gonna come in and put his arguments and his opinion in front of all, all I mean, in front of everyone, basically. Everyone who believes that this is something that will appreciate drip over time, so on and so forth. But I just wanted to put these facts, you know, aligned next to each other. And each person will make their own opinion onto what will happen. And that's just mine at the end of the day. But remember that I didn't base this based on wrong facts or I didn't do it based on bias and so on and so forth. It's just based on logic coupled with experience, coupled with math, coupled with reality. So it is what it is at the end of the day. You can agree with me or you cannot agree with me. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then price will appreciate. Everyone will be happy. Everyone will have more money at the end of the day. But let's see. Now, I hope they will launch this soon, so all of this can be put to rest. But in any cases, if you stuck around till the end, I thank you honestly if you got some value from any of this or any video that I put on this channel. Again, if you did, thank you for sticking around. See you in the next one. Have a good one.